Hello people, this is SelfTurts and in this video we are going to learn about a basic array algorithm that is how to rotate a given array by one. So this is one of the most basic rotation problem related to an array. So there can be other problems like rotate a given array by two, three or by n. So this is the most uh, basic or trivial problem for the array rotation. So I'll make you understand that what this problem statement is all about. So we have been given an input array and that array is something like this that we have an array of size 8 and the index from 0 to 7 and we have the elements inside array as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and the output that we want is something like this that we want 2 at index 0 and then which means that we are taking this element from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and we are placing or moving these elements from index 1 to 7 one place before so 2 comes to 0 3 comes here 4 comes here 5 comes here 6 comes to 5 7 comes to 6 and 8 comes to 7 and finally this first number that is 1 comes at the end so this is rotation by 1 which means that we are rotating the array only by one element so that only the first element if when we rotate it it means what it goes from here and then it again comes to 7 same way every element 2 comes here 3 comes here and 1 goes to the last so this is the problem statement that we want to solve so if we took a closer look on this problem it means that this is a swapping kind of problem so we need to swap the elements on two indexes so the index 2 element comes to this 0 and then this 3 comes here so we are swapping or moving element from index from its current index to one index before and the first element is moved to the last index so how we can do that so we'll go to our eclipse id here and we will try to code this problem statement there so this is our eclipse id and this is a basic class in which a main method is there so the main method will be executed when we will run this program now the first thing is what we will create an array so we are taking an array as this so we'll say the array is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 and then comma 8 so this is the array that has been given now since we are interested in moving the first element to the last so what we'll do we'll store this first element in temp variable so we'll say temp equal to array of 0 okay so this is the first variable so we'll store this variable and we'll move this element from where from for int i equal to from where 1 so starting index is what 1 and up to where i less than how much the length of the array less than the length of the array so the length of the array is what 8 so we need to go up to index 7 so the length of the array is 8 so we need to move up to this 7 index so that we can move the last element one to the uh, previous index so the index so the value at index 7 should come to value of index 6 so we need to go up to there so we'll write what less than equal to or we'll say less than equal to uh, array dot length minus one so we are writing less than equal to so we are going up to array dot length so it is how much eight eight minus one is seven and then what we'll do we'll say i plus plus okay so we'll say i plus plus so this is there and now what we want to do for every element we'll move that element to the previous one so we'll say what array of i minus one is equal to what array of i okay so what does this line says we are taking array of i minus 1 so when i equal to 0 when i i equal to 1 because we are starting from index 1 so when i equal to 1 what we need to do array of i minus 1 so i minus 1 is what 0 array of i minus 1 is equal to what array of i so array of i i minus 1 0 will be equal to array of i so 2 will come here same way for here array when i will be equal to 1 I will be equal to 2 then array of 2 minus 1 that is 1 will be equal to what array of 2 so it will be 3 so we'll move the element from here to here from 4 to 3 from 5 to 4 and then from 6 to 5 so this will do what this will move the element one place before from index 1 to index 7 so from 1 to index 7 it will be moved but still the element first is not at the current place so what we need to do we need to move or we need to place this element at its at its position so what we'll do array of how much array dot length what is the length minus one equal to temp so we have stored that element there and now we have put this 
element in at the last of the element so this is very trivial solution so when the number of rotation is 2 or number of rotation is 3 we need to change our approach to solve this but this is the basic solution this is the simplest solution that can be done for a single array rotation now what we'll do we'll print the elements of the array so we'll say for int i equal to 0 i less than array dot length i plus plus and then what we'll do we'll say system system dot out dot print ln and then not print ln we'll use print it in the same line so we'll say array of i and then plus and then a space so that it is clearly visible now what we'll do we'll try to run this program and let's hope everything runs better so it everything runs fine so it is two three four five six seven eight and one comes at the last position so we'll try to change the number so we'll say 5 comma 10 comma 3 comma 4 so what should be the output out should be out should put output should be what 10 3 4 and then 5 so we'll run it and the output is 10 3 4 5 so this is how to rotate a array by one so this approach will not be applicable if the rotation is 2 3 or 4 or n so we'll cover those things in our next videos so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you